For many years, the Tesla Semi was the most underestimated vehicle in Tesla's entire product family. Because of its low production speed, the limited information available, and doubts from the trucking world, a lot of people assumed this electric truck was basically an ignored side project. But by the year 2025, this Class 8 electric truck shocked even Elon Musk himself. The Tesla Semi is not just breaking records set by other companies, it is breaking the limits Tesla once set for it. Before the full-scale production ramp next year, Tesla carried out a series of bold tests with the Semi, including long-distance routes that many experts believed were impossible for an electric heavy truck. The outcome surprised almost everybody. The Tesla Semi did not only match Tesla's public promises, it crushed its real-world endurance test of 3,000 miles, showing stability, strength, and durability far beyond what Elon Musk expected. DHL, one of the newest customers to receive the Semi, completed very strict two-week trials and confirmed that the truck performs even better than they imagined. PepsiCo and SIA drivers expressed the same feelings. Many of them say they hope to retire while driving this vehicle. The truth is, businesses that originally planned to use the semi for short routes have been forced to rethink their entire strategy because now the truck can handle long-haul duty with much lower operating costs. And since more than 70% of freight trucks in the United States travel under 500 miles, the Tesla Semi is almost a perfect match for the majority of routes. But here is the surprising part. The 2026 upgraded version is arriving quickly, with better aerodynamics, improved weight optimization, and sharply reduced production costs thanks to Tesla's new Giga Semi factory line. Elon Musk even surprised everyone by saying Tesla may reach a production number of almost 200 trucks a day. So how did the Tesla Semi achieve a 3,000-mile test? How can Tesla actually build 200 units per day? And will the 2026 version really come with big improvements? You are about to find out. But before we continue, if you are enjoying this deep dive, tap that subscribe button in a unique way. Just give it a quick gentle tap so YouTube knows you are part of the Amp Drive family. It helps more than you think. For a long time, the Tesla Semi carried a certain label, Tesla's number one vehicle. But this was not meant as a compliment. It was known as the hardest vehicle to build, the most costly, and the most doubted among Tesla's projects. Yeah, number one in criticism. People laughed at it, dismissed it, and said it would never have the power to replace diesel trucks in long-distance transport. But slowly, reality started to shift. Not because Tesla said something new. Not because of fancy videos online. But because real numbers, from huge transport companies, started proving the opposite. DHL, a global logistics powerhouse, finally received its first Tesla Semi. And the very first thing they did was not a friendly photo opportunity or a basic internal test. No. Instead, they immediately sent the truck on a long route of 390 miles while carrying a full 75,000 pound load. What shocked both their engineering division and many people around the trucking world was that the semi finished the full journey with one single charge and still arrived with some battery left. Nobody seriously believed this would happen. But even that was not the most surprising part. During a two-week testing period, DHL ran a total distance of 3,000 miles with the semi, keeping an average speed above 50 miles per hour and measuring an energy use of only 1.72 kWh per mile. This is far better than the energy use rate of 2 to 2.2 kWh per mile that most electric trucks show today. Jim Monk Meyer, the president of transportation for DHL supply chain North America, highlighted this achievement clearly and said their trial with the Tesla Semi went beyond all expectations. DHL uses the Semi for around 100 miles of deliveries each day, even though it is fully capable of running 500 miles. They now say the semi only needs to be charged about once every week and is expected to cut 50 tons of greenhouse gas emissions per year. DHL already plans to buy more semi trucks in 2026, once Tesla reaches higher production levels. The Tesla semi has also received very positive reviews from veteran truck drivers. Tom Sturba, a highly experienced driver at SIA, 
said that the semi's navigation system is unbelievable and that he does not want to switch back to diesel trucks. He even said he hopes to retire while driving this electric vehicle. Another interesting fact is something many people do not know. Diesel trucks often arrive later than electric trucks on certain routes because electric trucks climb hills quicker and sustain their speed more effectively. This was proven in Tesla's semi-tests. The truck can climb 8 to 10% hills at 60 miles per hour. On a thousand mile route, an electric truck can actually arrive up to two hours earlier than a diesel truck. Yes, you still need to charge, which takes around 40 minutes to an hour, but the arrival time is still almost the same while costing far less per mile. Electric trucks also last two to three times longer than diesel trucks. Another experienced driver, Michael Davis, said that he volunteered immediately when the Tesla Semi first arrived. He explained that the truck is incredibly strong and did not disappoint in any way. These examples show that the Tesla Semi is not just performing well, it is going far beyond Tesla's own expectations. For the first time, Tesla may have underestimated one of its products. This is why Elon Musk officially listed the Semi as one of Tesla's three most important products for 2026, alongside the RoboTaxi and Optimus humanoid robot. For a long time, Elon Musk barely talked about the Semi. But this was not because it was cancelled. There were three main reasons. First, every Semi on the road was basically a prototype, collecting real data. Second, Tesla did not have a proper dedicated factory for it. And third, the Semi still does not have full self-driving yet, which Elon Musk believes is the true revolution for the trucking world. But this situation is changing quickly. Tesla has now finished constructing a brand new factory in northern Nevada, basically the first true Giga Semi plant. Before this, the Semi was almost handmade. Now, it is entering a fully automated production process. Starting in 2026, Tesla is aiming to produce 50,000 semi-trucks each year. That means about 4,166 per month, around 960 per week, and about 192 trucks every day. These numbers sound unbelievable, especially since fewer than 500 semi-units exist today. But now Tesla has solved the major production bottlenecks. They have the factory, the battery supply, and a better design. So yes, 50,000 trucks per year is possible. And that number brings Tesla close to the biggest competitors. For example, Peterbilt manufactures around 60,000 heavy-duty trucks annually, but they do not have any electric truck that even comes close to the semi's engineering. The semi-units produced in the new factory will not be prototypes. These will be true mass production vehicles. And according to certain leaks, Tesla has prepared for this moment with a complete new design for the 2026 model. From the official images, the 2026 Semi has a newly redesigned front with a cleaner light bar, a simpler repair-friendly bumper, a smoother rounded top section, and a shorter windshield. The large rear glass seen on the 2017 concept did not serve a real purpose, so it is gone. All of these changes reduce the drag coefficient to around 0.33, which is even better than the previous 0.36. Even a small drag improvement can boost range and efficiency by around 5-8%. The chassis is also more optimized and the truck's base weight drops under 23,000 pounds, improving payload capacity and range. Charging will be handled by 1.2 MW charging using Tesla's high-power charging hardware. For the battery, Tesla is using two strategies. The long-range version will use four 680 cells, which provide high power and stable output even during heavy towing. The short-range semi will use lithium-iron phosphate cells, which are cheap, strong, and perfect for distances between 100 and 200 miles. This short-range semi might cost around $160,000. But the biggest upgrade is full self-driving. Tesla added a new camera location above the front wheel arch, clearly showing that the semi is being prepared for autonomous driving. With full self-driving, the truck could operate almost non-stop, pausing only for a 30-40 to 40 minute charging session. This would massively cut labor costs, shorten delivery times, and reduce accidents caused by tired drivers. 
Elon Musk even said Tesla might build millions of semi-trucks one day, and these trucks will also be capable of autonomous driving in the future. The Tesla Semi is not a cheap machine. Reports suggest the 500-mile version might cost around $200,000. Elon has not confirmed this, but Class 8 electric trucks always cost more at the start. A report from the American Transportation Research Institute shows that an average Class 8 diesel truck costs around $180,000, while an electric one can easily go above $400,000. But everything changes when you look at operating costs. Tesla says charging the semi is about half the price of fueling a diesel truck. The money saved can reach around $150,000 in the first three years. Electric trucks also have far lower maintenance costs. Diesel engines have hundreds of moving parts that need repair and replacement. Electric trucks do not. No oil changes. Fewer mechanical parts. Better brake life because of regenerative braking. Studies show that maintenance costs for electric trucks are 40 to 60 percent lower. Diesel fleets usually spend between $20,000 and $30,000 yearly on maintenance. Electric fleets spend around $8,000 to $15,000. The high-efficiency regenerative braking of the Tesla Semi recovers almost all the energy used when going downhill. This gives a massive advantage on long routes. When businesses see that a truck can save fuel, be simpler to drive, give better acceleration, and cost less per mile, going back to diesel trucks will simply not make sense. PepsiCo drivers already say they never want to return to diesel after driving the semi. They love the quiet ride, the smooth feeling, and the reduced stress level. Tesla plans to deploy the semi globally, but there are challenges. In Australia, truck size laws prevent approval because the semi is slightly wider than allowed. In Europe, cab over designs are common and the semi uses a long-nose American-style front. Europe also prefers left-side driver positions and sleeper cabins for long routes. Tesla may need to redesign the semi for Europe. Also, Tesla's service network in Europe is small compared to giants like Volvo, Mercedes, and Scania who already have strong electric truck networks. Volvo already has around 3,000 electric trucks running in Europe. Meanwhile, Tesla faces image problems in Europe due to protests at Giga Berlin and other issues. Still, the Semi has features that none of the competitors can match. The Mercedes E Actro 600 gets only around 311 miles. The Volvo FH Electric gets about 373 miles. The Semi has around 500 miles and energy use as low as 1.7 kWh per mile. Full self-driving could solve Europe's driver shortage. But Tesla must fix regulations, design changes, service networks, and charging networks before entering Europe properly. So what do you think is the biggest advantage of the Tesla Semi over diesel trucks? And how do you feel about full self-driving transforming long-distance trucking? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.